I'm Belly and I'm B, and this is Belly and B. Ashini. Girl, we will never come up with a good rhyme. It's okay, it's been a minute. On a more serious note, sorry for missing previous uploads, Butter Bellies. We were in a serious rut. More like an existential crisis. <laughs> we had to take a break from the posting because we were both feeling down for what was starting to seem like way too long, so we finally decided to do something about it. We have used this time to really reflect, and we honestly went through a pretty cool experience. We want to share it with you and what we went through, with the hopes that you take something from it, or at the very least, be entertained. So, we started off with the, the interview. interview. You guys know us, we're usually super joyful, so we're not sure why we felt like that, but we thought we should listen to the advice we give you guys and reach out. We were dragging towards professional help. We got into contact with the big guns, Mr. Slimy, the 25-year-old wise snail from our colony. Here's a snippet of our talk. You know what? You need to go on a journey. Find the wisdom tree. Wait, what's the wisdom tree? No, it's it. It's something. It's it. Honestly, I immediately pictured a grand magical talking tree. Yeah, he handed us the map on how to get there and some specific instructions. And then like, I finally had some hope that we get all the answers to all our questions. Okay, so. We flew to the starting point of the route as directed by Mr. Slimy. We saw a lot of diverse communities also headed towards the famous tree. We actually ran into this caterpillar. Yeah, her name was Lola and she started telling us about a few butterflies and honestly, I felt like that conversation was super belittling because she was just going on and on about how great they were. Really? Yes, you didn't notice? Just isn't the way she talks about her best friend Regina. What? Oh look, that's my best friend Regina. She just won the 25th annual Flutter Fashion Festival actually. I love her, she's such a kind soul. Oh my gosh, why would she even bring that up? Like, was she trying to make us feel unaccomplished? Right, yeah, that's how I felt. And even just looking at the other butterflies she was pointing out, like, they were all so much better than yeah, us. Yeah, I mean, we can't even compare it to that. Well, luckily, after that, Lola joined her other friends, and we didn't even have to see her for a while. Uh, I wonder why, Belly. Maybe because you lost the map. I lost the map? You lost the oh map. Oh my gosh, roll the clip. You can't find the map? No, I can't find the map. I got really thirsty and I set it down for five seconds and I guess it flew away. The wind suddenly picked it up or something. There's nothing I could do about that. Well, where is it? I've been holding it this entire time. And when I ask you to hold it while I fix my antennas, you lose it? I don't understand how that's even possible. It was your responsibility in the first place. It wasn't even my fault. How was I supposed to know that the it was going to get like this well i just don't understand anyways uh moving on since alma lost the map we had to go through a lot to get to the wisdom tree oh my goodness really okay whatever we stopped talking to each other for a really long time and we honestly would have kept it this way if it didn't depend on our lives it started raining really hard on us and since there was no shelter big enough in sight our only option was to work together to make the shelter low key though belly your background in engineering is very helpful she was going through this whole like process yeah the engineering design processes that's like basic knowledge well, anyway, after our research imagined, plan created, and tested, we waited together until the rain turned into a drizzle. Once we flew out, we realized that we were back on the main path, and with our luck, we ran into Lola. Oh, hey, Lola. Whoa, I didn't think I could find you guys here. I thought all the butterflies started heading out once we ran into the toxic pesticide spray some miles back. No, we got sidetracked and wandered off the main route. We were about to keep going, but we didn't really know where to go. I wonder how I guess best friend Regina's doing now. We're only a few miles out from the tree. I know the way. I could take you guys there. Wait, hold on. What did Lola say there? I think she said everything happens for a reason. Wait, and that's kind of true because I mean, yeah. Think about it. If you wouldn't have lost the map, we would have been on our jolly way to damnation. Oh yeah, that's true. Even though the tree was a little underwhelming, like it was tiny and only had a sign that said growth on it. Wait, growth. We actually did learn or like grow a lot on our way there. Oh my gosh. And when we got there, she started disappointed and questioned it. Yeah, she asked us if it was really all about the destination. When it was about the journey. Huh. Everything, everything happens for a reason? reason? Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason! Huh. And if I would've just accepted that the map was gone sooner instead of dwelling on it, it probably would've been the process a lot easier. I had to let it go and let it be. Huh. You know what? Lola was like a special guide. She was never implying that other successes translated to our failures. She was also never comparing us to anyone. Our underlying beliefs were doing that to ourselves, which only negatively affected our perspective on Lola and our journey. We create our own realities. The, the wisdom tree really, really does have all the answers. answers. Take, Take the lessons, lessons that resonate with you. Guys. 
I was just editing this episode and I realized that this was episode number 333. Hello? I searched it up and this is what came up. So basically, the number three is associated with growth across the board, whether it be spiritual, personal, or financial growth. Seeing the angel number 333 means that this is your time to expand. How silly is that? Go girl, butterbellies.